Hero Scapers. This is Phase on me yet again with another review. Hero Pack of Wave 4. We'll start with Veil Guard. Um, his specials are First Assault 3 and Berserker Charge Enhancement. Uh, we'll start with First Assault 3. When attacking with Veil Guard, if the defending figure is not adjacent to him, uh, at the start of this turn, Veil Guard receives 3 additional attack dice. Berserker Charge Enhancement. Add 1 to your die roll when you roll for the Berserker Charge power on any army card. He's got 7 lives, a move of 5, range of 1, attack of 2, defense of 4, and he's 110 points. More Spain. Uh, the first elf and wizard ever to be released for Heroescape. Uh, Rod of Negation. It's a really long special. Uh, start of the game. Start the game with three brown negation markers on this card. At the end of the turn, you have at least one negation marker on this card. You may choose any opponent's unique figure within six clear sight spaces of more Spain. Roll a 20 sided die. If you roll 1 through 15, nothing happens. 16 through 19, place one negation marker on the chosen army card. All of the figure's special powers are negated. Uh, if you. Um. If you rolled a 20 on the 20 sided die, destroy the chosen figure. So that's pretty cool. Uh, 6 lives, 5 move, 1 range, 3 attack, 2 defense, and he is 100 points. Palmino. Uh, the Greek leader. Disciplined influence. At the start of the game, you may choose any unique army card you control. For this game, the chosen card's personality is disciplined, regardless of what is listed on the card. Sacred Band, Defy, Death, 15. When an adjacent Sacred Band figure receives one or more wounds, roll a 20-sided die before removing that figure. If you roll 15 or higher, ignore any wounds. 5 lives, 5 move, 1 range, 3 attack, 3 defense, 90 points, and he looks cool. Major X-17 from Viadar. He looks pretty cool. Uh, melee Defense 4. When rolling defense dice against a normal attack from an adjacent figure, Major X-17 adds 4 dice. Improved Cyberclaw. All small, medium, or large opponent figures that enter or occupy a space adjacent to Major X-17 may not move. Figures attacked or figures affected by Cyberclaw cannot be moved by any special powers on any card or glyph. He's got a 5 lives, 5 move, 1 range, 4 attack, and 3 defense. He's 100 points. Sudema! Uh, Stare of Stone. Instead of attacking, choose any figure within 4 sight spaces of Sudema. Roll a 20 sided die. If the chosen figure is a squad figure, you may roll a 7 or higher, destroy it. If the chosen figure is a hero, ignore. Um. Yeah, if the chosen figure is a hero figure, and you roll 17 or higher, destroy the chosen hero. Four lives, five move, one range, two attack, three defense. So she could get knocked out pretty fast. Um, that's it for this hero pack. You gotta love the hero reviews. I personally don't because they run a lot longer than I'd like them to. Um, overall, I'd rate this entire wave probably a 8 out of 10 because I liked the elves, I loved the samurai and their ability to get more experience as the game goes by, and I loved a lot of these heroes in this pack. So, that's it for this review. See you next time for Wave 5. We'll start with the Soulborg pack.